It was 50 years ago, in 1914, that the Royal Naval Air Service was founded. Prince Philip went to Yeovilton in Somerset to attend the Golden Jubilee of the Fleet Air Arm, as the service was later to be called. The main striking force of the Royal Navy today is based on the Blackburn Buccaneer. A low-level, long-range weapon system is designed to fly low and fast to outwit enemy radar. What a contrast to the old string bag, the fairy swordfish. Although it was obsolescent in 1940, it achieved staggering successes during the war and served until after victory in Europe. She was the first plane to use radar in destroying a U-boat. Now, Buccaneers. Very gannets are really flying radar centers. They can cover a wide area of sea or sky. When they find the target, the Navy's latest all-weather fighter takes over, a supersonic guided missile carrier, Sea Vixen. Helicopters are the Fleet Air Arm's main anti-submarine force. The versatile chopper is now able to locate and kill a submarine with its own homing torpedoes. It's also used for assault operations, landing Royal Marine Commandos and their equipment, as well as for communications and air-sea rescue. How to come downstairs without really trying. A lesson in descent by uh, Hot Hands. Buccaneers in the fly past. Now see Vixens. And the link between the supersonic and the pioneering days of naval flight, Stringbag, one of the greatest aircraft in the history of air warfare. 